In this video, we're setting up a Hike Vision Network MVR. Uh, my particular MVR is a four channel PoE um, device. On the device itself, on the back, you'll find four ports. These are PoE ports, so uh, simply a Cat5 from each camera um, back to these PoE ports, which is enough to power the devices. Uh, it's a Cat5 or Cat6 cable from the ports to each camera. The, uh, on the front and back, there's a USB port. Uh, I'm using the USB port to plug a mouse in, because that will work the um, virtual keypad as it comes up on the screen. And there's a HDMI port. The HDMI port is for the monitor. So everything's connected, everything's switched on. We can just do some little configuration before we get started. Before we start, we must install a hard drive in the machine uh, because that's what it is, it's a video recorder, it's a network video recorder. So what we do is remove the lid from the device and there you will see a space to install your hard drive and you'll see some leads to plug the hard drive in. Simply um, place the hard drive in place. On the back of the unit you can see some keyhole slots where you screw the hard drive in place. Connect the leads, make sure they're in firmly put the lid back on and then we're ready to go you simply power the device up if you power it up without the hard drive um, working you'll get several beeps until the hard drive is installed make sure whenever you install in the hard drive the power is off with the device powered up monitor switched on your, wel your welcome screen is to select the language so select your local language um, mine's English so I'll leave it as it is I can skip that step it asks you to change the output to suit the um, HDMI monitor so I'll click yes on that next it asks you for a password this is your logging password um, I'm going to obscure mine because um, well as I did this I didn't realize Typically, they hide them with asterisks, but in this case, I left it open. Um, so, type in your password and confirm the password. It, it has to be uh, letters and numbers. Um, just choose your standard letters and numbers you'd use as a password. And then a registration email in case you need to recover. Once that's done, um, accept and activate. Now we have to do our on screen um, keyboard password. And you just mimic an action if you've got an Android, you're familiar with this password sequence. Uh, do the sequence you like, click anywhere on the screen, then repeat that se uh, sequence again to confirm. Click and we're done. Next, we need to set our time zone. I need to change mine to um, London, uh, zero GMT. All the usual bits and bobs are fine. Click next. DHCP. Now, DHCP is already on. Um, and full disclosure, my device is actually connected to a to a router, and you can see with DHCP it's assigned it an address. If you are going to use it as a network device later on, this is the time to change it. And you can just change the addresses there if you need to. Obviously, switch DHCP off. Um, with everything happy there, click next. You okay to that? And there we are. That, that's it. We're online. We're ready to go. As I say, I'd already plugged the cameras in, and if you've ever used high vision before, you'll know um, cameras that are plugged in. As long as a, a high vision protocol camera, they'll assign it an IP address, and they'll assign it to channel one and channel two. Let's have a quick look at some further settings within the MVR. So, as I say, you, this is the the screen you, you greet us with. If you use the mouse and you left click, you can exit full screen. That takes you to the uh, to the open window, and at the top there you can see the navigation pane. On the left you can see the names of the cameras. Again, full disclosure, one of my cameras had already been configured, um, and you can see it's just called Up. So if we go to the um, settings menu, and we can do things um, such as change the time and date if we need to, uh, add, a, add a new user. can change the IP addresses and so on, add an STMP um, device. And for us, the, um, the important part, if we need to add more cameras, this is the field to do it. As you can see, the two cameras are previously plugged in, they're, they're in and configured. 
if you ever need to add any more, this is where you'd come to and, um, and change accordingly. I've got these two channels spare here. OSD, the on-screen display. If you want to change the name of the camera, you can do. As I say, mine's already um, got a name there. So let's go to this one here. I'm just going to quickly edit, edit this name. I'll just delete the zero one. Just call it camera. Give it the name that suits. That your name will be acceptable. Um, click save, and that's it. That's the camera set up. Um, you can switch on and off which text fields appear in the picture, and if you want to do some custom text, you can do so. With all that done, um, we can just have a look at some other menus. Um, if you want to do any motion detection, line crossing, or intruder detection, that's a later stage. These are the menus to do. We'll cover that in further videos. And that's our USB, that's our uh, hard drive storage, just showing it's online and it's working. As I say, if it wasn't working, you'd be getting several beeps at this point, um, letting you know. Next up we have um, playback, the playback menu. This is where you can click on the camera there and if you at the bottom you can see the, the, the blue section there. That shows you any um, recorded time that you've got any recorded events. So if at a later stage you need to download any footage, you can see the times when footage is saved um, to the device. You can see mine's only being on briefly. And there we go. That's the setup and configuration of a Hike Vision Network MVR. Um, programmed in standalone. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.